Okay, Charles, found the problem. This uh, AM regulator had failed. And it's one of the good ones. It's a 2SB827. But uh, it failed. So I'm upgrading you to a Palomar Max Mod. No charge. Palomar Max Mod. Okay. More to come. Okay, Charles, I found it. Uh, it wasn't squealing. It was going to full power because of that uh, transistor I showed you that had burned out. So I replaced it with a Max Mod. And when I replaced it with a Max Mod, uh, everything was great until I put the covers on. When I put the covers on and tighten them down, then it did the same thing again. Went to full power. <clears throat> Took it back apart and found that the Max Mod was bad. So I said, what the hell? So I started looking into it. You remember that special little coax connector uh, that I showed you I needed to find? Uh, that guy had... Well, it's basically, it's real close to the positive terminal inside the amplifier. And so when I close the covers, it would tug on that coax cable or push it back in just enough to make contact with the positive, one of the little wires coming out of the coax shield. When I pushed it back in, it would just barely touch the positive terminal. So everything was fine until I keyed the radio. When I keyed the radio, then it would put all of that back, uh, that voltage inside the radio on the uh, regulated terminal and blow the, uh, the AM regulator. It's a weird problem. Never seen one like it. But uh, I found it, and what I did was take a piece of phenolic uh, off of a like an old Radio Shack PC board. It had some copper runs on it on one side. The other side is, is blank. Well, in fact, I got it here. Hang on just a sec. Here it is. See, like right down there, there was a, a little strip of uh, copper runs. So what I did was just cut a chunk out of this. It could have been prettier, but... <laughs> I cut that out. On this side, you see there's no copper. So I slid it down in between the positive terminal and that little coax connector and soldered it to the positive terminal so it couldn't move. So I totally isolated it from the coax connector. And once I did that, then everything's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm on AEM channel 20. I've got a 500 watt slug up there, so we're reading on that middle scale. Okay. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Yep, a little bit over 400 with that damn Max Mod. I tell you, that Max Mod is something, boy. That's the best thing that Palomar ever invented. <laughs> Not really, but it's uh, it's it's really good. Okay. Uh. It's ready. Uh, I'm, you know, everything on it works. And uh, it's been on since yesterday. I'm still using it. Hello, audio. Audio one, two. And it works great. Hello, audio. Well, it's too far down. Hello, audio. Audio one, two. Okay, I'll be getting her boxed up and shipped out. Charles, thanks for your patience, and sure hope you enjoy your radio. 73. Okay, I decided to take the covers back off and show you. See that little connector right there? It was touching this post here. One of the wires from the, the coax. I've soldered them, and uh, 
you know put that little divider board there so that they can't touch it now so what was happening was it was pushing it over this way just enough to touch it but now it can't go see can't touch it okay put the covers back on okay Charles got it all put back together uh, lower side of channel 20 it I got your power set at 12 and the mic gain set at 12 now to me listening on my monitor radio this setting sounds the best hello audio audio one two three four five five four three two one audio test and you can see it's dead on frequency uh, if I turn it all the way up mic gain I get a lot of background noise so and this is on a stock mic I mean it still works okay but uh, kind of holds your power up and that's going to shorten the life of your transistors probably so I'd run it about right there that way it's not picking up so much background noise so it, the meter will fall back when I stop talking if I turn the mic gain all the way up like that and it wants to hold the power up see it's picking up too much background noise so I'd run it right about there okay and that's my stock mic and I would run the power right about here uh, both on AM and sideband right here it does uh, almost 300 watts about 380 and sideband only does about 320 350 so right there's your best best spot in my opinion let me turn that down so run just run your mic gain and your RF power at 12 o'clock and when you switch back over to AM, see it still swings almost up to 300. Okay. Yeah, if I have the Roger B phone, no. I just wanted to see what it would do in AM. And it is picking up a lot of background noise in AM with it turned all the way up too. So if you get a noise canceling microphone, you can probably run that wide open. But uh, like I said, the it sounds the best to me with the RF power set at 12 and my game set at 12. But it could also be because I'm sitting right next to my other radio. Now when I turn the amplifier off, I can turn them both all the way up and it still sounds fine. And I'm not picking up a bunch of background noise, at least I don't think I am. Turn this back up. Yeah, it's still picking up a lot of background noise. Hear that? <laughs> Just that the amplifier makes it seem worse. So if I turn that down to about 12 o'clock, audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Anyway, you'll find the settings that are right for you. I would, uh, like I said, run them both at 12 o'clock with the stock mic, and it sounds great. Got several good reports on it this morning. Had Skip coming in from Illinois. Uh, some other areas up there. And I uh, talked to a few people. They said it sounded really good. They couldn't believe I was on a stock hand mic. But I had it set right there. You know, at, at 12 and 12. So, all right. Charles, sorry I had the problem. Sorry it took me a couple of extra days to get it going. But I didn't want to ship it out of here uh, with it having a problem okay all right